International Space Station. This is Becky Anderson at the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center in Dubai. How do you read? And Becky, this is uh, Sultan Al Niyadi from uh, the International Space Station. I have you loud and clear. Terrific. It is fantastic to be speaking to you today. How are you? I'm doing great, Becky. It's uh, it's uh, the dream becoming true, uh, living on board the International Space Station. It can't be better. This is an out-of-this-world interview. Al Nayadi, dubbed the Sultan of Space, is the first Arab to be deployed on a long-term mission in the cosmos. Two, one, engine's full power. And he launched to the ISS for a six-month mission in partnership with NASA and the exploration company SpaceX. The first time uh, I saw Earth, it was a profound moment. We're flying uh, almost 400 kilometers on top of this planet and you see everything. You see the mountains and the forests and the desert and everything that you know of. And it's really great to see uh, this magnificent planet. Sultan, show me around. That looks like a really busy environment that you're in. So just explain where you are and, and what this all means as you float upside down. So on the first uh, month here, Becky, we had a cargo mission. It was full of science. So we had uh, a lot of uh, scientific experiments. We tested uh, medication. We tested uh, technologies. We tested uh, a lot of things that we are uh, uh, maybe testing for the first time. And it's uh, a cutting edge technology. So I was uh, uh, sequencing DNAs. I was applying uh, some medication to heart tissues. And on top of that, we are subjects ourselves. So we have experiments and sensors um, just uh, running on our bodies uh, throughout the mission to be able to understand how the microgravity is affecting the human body when we think about going back to the moon or further into space to Mars and so on. Apart from these scientific experiments, Al Nayari spends his days making repairs both inside and outside the space station. Emirati astronaut Sultan Al Nayadi has ingressed to the crew lock portion of the Quest airlock. Tell me about the spacewalk, Sultan. Amazing or terrifying as an experience? Both. And actually, uh, the name is spacewalk, but we don't walk. We use our hands. So we need to have a very strong uh, forearms to be able to move from one place to another. So it was amazing. It was seven hours uh, continuous. I didn't feel it because I was really focusing into the mission. And uh, it was it was really, really great feeling just to see uh, that you are floating in a spacesuit. It's just like a small spacecraft. It provides oxygen and uh, CO2 scrubbing and cooling. And what is pre preventing you from dying is just like a, a small layer of glass. Tell us, how do you exercise? And give us some examples of of living in zero gravity. So in, in, in zero gravity, we just float. We are literally in uh, like free float. We, we don't move a lot. So it is important to keep our muscles uh, uh, working. We have a treadmill. We use bungees to tie ourselves to, to be able to run. If we run without any bungees, we'll be just like floating like this. And uh, we have another resistive device, uh, which is simulating weights. And uh, we use uh, s vacuum cylinders to uh, simulate the, the weight and work out uh, just simulating uh, uh, lifting dumbbells and so on. This is Houston ACR, and that concludes the event. Thank, thank you, you to Becky Houston. Anderson.